All right, Math 98, let's take a look at Section 7.4. And this section is called um, Special Products. And it's just kind of patterns to recognize. So let's deal with a couple of them. So let me think about something like m plus 6 squared, or maybe like p minus 9 squared. So when you square something, you're multiplying it by itself. So this is not just m squared plus 36. Because you're squaring m plus 6, that whole thing. This is m plus 6 times m plus 6. Now pay careful attention where the pieces come from. m times m is m squared. Okay. 6 times 6 is 36. So there, that makes sense. And now notice this middle term is going to be 6 times m plus 6 times m. It's two of those six times, uh, six m's. So it's 12 m. Notice this p minus 9 squared, same sort of thinking. Uh, when you square something, you multiply it by itself. There's my first squared, uh, sorry, first term, p squared. There's my last term, negative 9 times negative 9 is positive 81. And my middle term, negative 9p, negative 9p, is two of them, two of these negative uh, 9p's, so it's negative 18p. So this gives me one relationship, which is if I have something that's a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, right? 2, like m squared is the a squared, 6 squared is the b squared, 2 of the m times 6 in the middle, that is a plus b squared. And if it's minus instead of plus, it's just uh, a minus b squared. So being able to recognize those is huge. So if I needed to factor something like 9x squared plus 12x plus 4. Well, let me see what I got here. 9x squared, this is 3x squared. 4 is 2 squared. So is the middle 2 times 3x times 2, right? There's the 3x. There's the 2, and there's 2 of them. Sure is. So I can tell that this factors two, that's like my A, and that's like my B. So this would factor to 3x plus 2 squared. Again, being able to recognize these is huge. And seeing that there's a square at the front and square at the bottom is a good way to recognize them. 49 is a square and 36 is a square. This is a good candidate for it. 7m squared, 6n squared. So this middle should be 2 times 7m times 6n. mn is there, 2 times 7, 14 times, yep. So this would factor 2, 7m plus 6n. And notice if this had been minus, that would have just changed this to minus as well. All right, so there's one uh, thing to recognize, and that's that perfect square uh, trinomial. Another one is something that's called the difference of squares, a squared minus b squared. And it comes from things like this. Uh, if I have k plus 5 times k minus 5, notice this doesn't have a middle term. So k times k is k squared. 5 times 5 is negative 25. There's those pieces. And notice since this is plus and minus, that would be a positive 5k. That would be a negative 5k. It drops out. So this is the same as that. And then recognizing those factors is the same thing, just like starting to recognize them as squares. So like if I had um, h squared minus 100, or like 121a squared minus 49b squared. Right, notice this is 11a squared minus 7b squared. Well, that must be a difference of squares then. That would factor to, uh, or not factor, multiply to 11a plus 7b, or factor to this, sorry, and 11a minus 7b. Right? This would become h minus 10, h plus 10, because this is 10 squared. So recognizing those differences of squares is also huge. Uh, sum of squares, if I'm adding squares together, that is actually not factorable. That's prime. So be careful to tell the difference. The difference of squares is one that's factorable. The sum of squares is prime because uh, nothing drops out on them.
And then there's one more relationship I want to show you. It's the sum and difference of cubes. And this is just one to know. Um, so if I have uh, a cubed plus b cubed, or a cubed minus b cubed, just recognizing this form, um, this factors to a plus b times, and this looks like a, a difference of squares one, but um, instead of a two in the middle, it's just an a b. So a squared minus opposite, right? Notice that that's the opposite of this. This one's the same. a b plus b squared. And then that opposite same is the same. So if I have the difference of cubes, a cubed minus b cubed, a same operator, right, minus b, a squared plus a b plus b squared. And you can see that this works. If you multiply this out, uh, a bunch of stuff drops out and that becomes one. That helps me do some factoring as well. Like if I had like uh, x cubed minus 64. Well, that's... Uh, x cubed, 64 is 4 to the third power. So this is x cubed minus 4 cubed. So x would be like my a, and 4 would be like my b. So this would factor to x minus 4 times x squared plus 4 times x. Uh, so 4 times x is 4x plus 4 squared plus 16. Or if I had something like uh, 27 plus 8y cubed, I know 27 is 3 cubed, this is 2y cubed. So my a is 3, my b is 2y, and it's plus, so I'm going to plug it into this one. So it's first one plus second one, first one same sign, second one. First one squared, so 3 squared is 9. Opposite sign, right, if that's plus, this is minus. Then multiplied together, plus the second one squared. 2 gets squared and the y gets squared. Sometimes on these, you might have to factor something out first to start with. But these are special factorizations, uh, good things to know and to, uh, to practice with. Give those problems a try. Send me any questions. You can message me or you can post them in the forums.